Chapter 22 Electronic and AMR Spectra of Molecules Section 22.4 The Yablonsky Diagram of Photochemistry The Yablonsky Diagram depicts the six major electronic transition processes in photochemistry absorption, fluorescence, phosphorescence, internal conversion, vibrational relaxation, and intersystem crossing. So now let's examine this Yablonsky diagram. Uh, we have several electronic states here. S0, that's the ground singlet electronic state. S1 and S2 are also singlet electronic state. Uh, this is the first excited. This is the second excited singlet electronic state. Uh, we also have uh, this T1 electronic state. And you see a bunch of lines on top of S0. Those are vibrational energy levels. For S1, we also have many vibrational energy levels. Uh, so does this S2 and T1. Now let's look at absorption. So you can see absorptions, those up arrows, uh, a molecule may absorb a photon and gets excited to some S1 or S2 excited states. That's absorption. It takes place within uh, one or several femtosecond. And now once the uh, electronic state is changed to the higher energy level. For example, this S1 state, well, it's not going to be very stable. It's possible for this uh, molecule to under uh, electronic de-excitation. So it can jump back from S1 back to S0. Uh, this is pretty fast as well. Uh, usually in nanoseconds, it's called fluorescence. Uh, in the fluorescence process, a photon is emitted. And now let's look at some other processes. So again, you know, we can have uh, this uh, 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 electronic excitation from S0 to S1 or even to S2. And now let's look at this wiggle line. This is so-called vibrational relaxation. So it's possible for, for us to excite uh, this molecule to uh, this S2 uh, excited electronic state and also excited vibrational energy level. For example, over here, this is the uh, vibrational energy level uh, n equals uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3. So from here we can you know do some vibrational relaxation. That means the vibrational energy may decrease. Uh, the vibrational quantum number may decrease from 3 to 2 or from 2 to 1, 1 to 0, etc. Uh, where does this energy go? Uh, this uh, vibrational energy may be transferred to some surrounding molecules and this is vibrational relaxation. And also you can go from S1, so for example we uh, excite the molecule from S0 to S1 and then from S1 horizontally you can go through this so-called internal conversion. Internal conversion from S1 to S0. Uh, in the internal conversion process uh, the electron spin is conserved so it's from singlet to singlet. From S1 to S0 but now you can see over here, although it's uh, the S0 ground electronic state, uh, this is actually vibrational excited state. So really high vibrational energy level. And also it can undergo vibrational relaxation. Uh, I can tell, uh, I think this is probably A equals uh, 11 or 12. Uh, the vibrational quantum number can decrease from uh, uh, either 11 or 12 to maybe just uh, lower vibrational quantum numbers. All right, so it explains this uh, 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 wiggle arrow in purple color. It's called internal conversion. Uh, and also you can go from S2 to S1. Uh, this is also internal conversion and, and, and then followed by this vibrational relaxation. Now let's look at uh, another process that involves uh, the flip of the electron spin. So this is going to be called in inter-system crossing. Inter-system crossing over here from the S1 excited state to the T1 excited state. Uh, we have to flip 
the spin of one electron and then going from here to here this is actually a spin forbidden process so usually this is uh, uh, slow from s1 to t1 and then after you go from s1 to t1 well we can uh, still undergo this vibrational relaxation from higher vibrational energy level to lower vibrational energy level and from T1 to S0, well, uh, this is also called uh, inter-system crossing uh, in which uh, the energy is conserved, but uh, the electron spin uh, is flipped. You need to flip uh, the spin of one electron to go from T1 to S0. And from here, you can, uh, we can undergo vibrational relaxation all the way to the uh, bottom line. And also from this T1 to S0, we can also go uh, through this uh, uh, phosphorescence process. Uh, in the phosphorescence process, you go from T1 to S1, S0 uh, directly and emit a photon. And also from T1 to S0, uh, this is actually spin forbidden electronic transition. So uh, phosphorescence is usually much slower than fluorescence. Fluorescence is spin allowed, phosphorescence is spin forbidden. So you can see uh, this uh, time scale is uh, much longer than this time scale. Phosphorescence can take much longer to occur just because it's spin forbidden. And again, in both fluorescence and phosphorescence, uh, a photon may be emitted, you know, that takes the energy difference into account. But over here, phosphorescence is much, much faster than fluorescence. Uh, this is also a uh, Yablonsky diagram. Uh, in this diagram, we have the S0, uh, the ground singlet electronic state, S1, uh, the first excited uh, singlet electronic state, T1, the first triplet electronic state. So if we go from S1 to T1, it's called inter-system crossing that involves uh, the uh, flip of electron spin. This is spin forbidden, but it can also happen. And all those wiggle arrows, those are vibrational uh, relaxations. And uh, from bottom up, this is uh, absorption. Uh, the molecule may absorb a photon and uh, undergo the electronic transition from the S0 ground singlet electronic state to S1, first excited singlet electronic state. And again, you know, we can see some vibrational uh, relaxation and also from here to here, uh, this is a vertical arrow pointing down. It's called fluorescence in which a photon is emitted. Uh, this is an ultra fast process as well, usually nanoseconds. Uh, and then phosphorus, you know, after we excite an electron here, we can go down here after inter-system crossing. We can go from S1 state to T1 state. In the T1 state, we have many vibrational energy levels. Again, vehicle lines, that means uh, vibrational relaxation. Uh, the molecule may lose energy to the surrounding molecules in the form of heat. And then over here, from here to here, it's from T1 to S0. This straight arrow is uh, phosphorescence. This is uh, a spin forbidden. That's why from T1 to S0, the phosphorescence takes much longer than fluorescence.